We got a new suit. Oh, this is cool. Hello. Last time on uh, the shit, I was talking about uh, the worst Spider-Man stories of all time. It's J. Jonah Homer. What? Huh? Millions of dollars of property damage fall. We're still tallying up the damage from Rhino's rampage. Man. Now it seems that you... How does he know? ...with his new frenemy, the Tinkerer. I say those two should get a room. Preferably a prison. Actually, I am a miner. So... Somewhere very, very far from... Can't be put in there. And I don't just mean Jersey. I'm talking Oregon or even... Oregon? Maybe I could have one peaceful night at home watching the Great Wakandan <laughs> cook off without getting interrupted by my fire... Great Wakandan cook off. Off the side of my building. Darn it, that reminds me. Darren! Who uses a DVR? <laughs> Who uses a DVR? <clears throat> I mean, I guess okay. old man uh, J. Jonah Jameson does. Alright, I'm gonna just read this. <sighs> For anyone who hasn't heard of this story, it's it's talking about um One More Day. Yeah. For anyone who hasn't heard of this story, let's put it in black and white. Peter's Aunt May is dying and nobody can save her. So, Peter meet, meets up with Mephisto, the Marvel equivalent of Satan, and strikes up a deal. Yes, that's right. The story has Spider-Man literally making a deal with the devil, and the terms for May to be saved, Peter Parker and Mary Jane's marriage will be wipe off the face of reality as if it never happened. What? The concept here is utterly childish because there's probably not a person on the planet who makes such a dumb deal, much less Mr. Pound responsibility to Peter Parker. Furthermore, this story also demonstrates incontrovert <laughs> incontrovertible proof that Marvel Comics editorial does not understand Peter Parker whatsoever. The Clone Saga may have been terrible, but it didn't fun fundamentally undermine the character like this story did. Until the day this this story is somehow reversed, retconned, or wiped off the map, and no, one moment in time doesn't count, then the comic book version of Spider-Man will ever have a black mark on his name. You've read uh, One More Day, right? Um, I've not read it, but I've, like, <sighs> seen... I've, like, I've, I've read it like how you're reading it now. Just off of, like, an article. It's so bad, dude. <laughs> Where is the side quest? Why is this side quest not show up on my map? It's still not like why is it not just showing up? I just gotta go to the general location. I will say though, DC tends to not do as much like damage to their characters. Yeah, like I feel like Captain they've America. done way too. I feel they've done way too much, like, retconning and that type of shit with, like, their main stars. Okay, that's what I'm supposed to be. Um, yeah, I feel like Marvel seems to... Uh, Marvel's more quick to jump the shark when it comes to, like, uh, we're not getting enough, uh, sales. Do something crazy. I feel like Marvel's really fast at doing that. Can you... Can you bring up, uh... Those two characters, not not two characters. Ah, oh, fuck. What were they called? There was like earlier this year. It doesn't feel like it was earlier this year, but like they made like a new team of characters, and uh, they released like pictures of them, their names, and like their background. Um, one of them was like two of them. One of them was called like a uh, <coughs> snowflake. Uh, oh, me... the duo Snowflake and Safe Space. Yes. Hold on, let me fucking... Snowflake and Safe Space. L uh, go, Those like, are just look up introducing names. the new warriors and just like... Read their fucking backstories. It's the worst. Especially okay. screen times. Screen introducing... times is the worst. The new warriors. When Kamala's law goes into effect, Kamala Harris? <laughs> yes. Okay. Are you reading us uh, screen 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 time? Oh no, no, not screen time. Why is everyone outside? Uh, read just all of them. Screen time? Introducing introducing the new warriors, right? Yeah. I've had it. You could just read it from the top. Breaking down. You send people to other free shelters? Uh, I have the Marvel. I have the Marvel video. I mean the Marvel thing. Is this the guy from? This is the girl from the first game. I, I don't know why I'm. I'm not asking you. I'm just saying to myself. 
She's like a character that Peter saves and then like, she's like, I think she's down bad and then Peter tells her to go to feast. Yeah, yeah. To get like, uh, they have like good like pancakes or whatever. Why are we outside? Wait, hold on. So, fi I, I know this. Firestar is an old school Marvel character. God, she's fucking... The person who drew her obviously knows what I like. Um, mm -hmm. Screen oh, yeah. time. Oh, the first sentence alone. <laughs> oh, the first sentence alone. Screen time. A meme-obsessed super teen whose brain has become connected to the internet after becoming exposed to his grandfather Peace. grandfather's experimental pain. internet Thank gas. Thank you. <laughs> 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 Now he can see augmented reality and real-time maps, and can instantly Google any fact. Oh cool, so can I. Does this make him effectively a genius? He sure act like it do acts like it does. I wanted to have a teen characters who felt as now as the New Warriors did in 1990. The New Warriors have been the zeitgeist characters from the beginning. Oh my god, whatever, alright, I don't care. Psychic Twins, Snowflake, and Safe Space. <laughs> okay. Suspicious. <sighs> All uh, twins are psychic, but we're psychic. Err. <laughs> Snowflake, a cryokinetic, can materialize snowflake shaped shuriken projectiles for throwing. Safe space can materialize pink force fields, but he can't inhibit, inhabit them himself. The reflex only works if, it, if it creates he's protecting a safe space. others. Did you think that? Yeah. <laughs> They're hyper aware of modern culture and optics, and they see their superhero heroics as post ironic meditation on using violence to combat bullying. They're probably streaming this. Who talks like this? These are teenagers, right? Uh. B negative, a teen living vampire exposed to Michael Morbius's blood as a child in a rogue but life-saving medical procedure. He still ages like a regular kid, but has all the abilities of Morbius. He's also obsessed with all the music and attitude of a classic long past decades like the 90s and 2000s. Yeah, you think he'd catch that? The world is a vampire, and so am I. <laughs> Trailblazer. A regular kid scooped up into the world of teenage superheroing. Her magic backpack is actually a pocket dimension she seeming with seemingly infinite space. So she has a TARDIS. From which she can pull out useful or random objects. It's not always under her control. She claims to get her power from God, but not the God you're thinking of. What God? Change into my suit. Wait, oh go, it's saying not the god you're thinking of, which she'd probably think of Thor. How does that work in the Marvel Universe? <laughs> the like, top comment on the Reddit thread on the Marvel, like, r slash Marvel. I'm still not 100 convinced this is real. It seems like one big trolling effort, like something 4chan would come up with. It's way too on the nose. Safe space and snowflake? Come on, are you kidding me? Who's your arch nemesis going to be? Incel or man baby? <laughs> <laughs> I would have gotten away for you if I would have gotten away with it, if it wasn't for you too. Snowflake in safe space. <laughs> Leaked issues revealed that the green guy's grandfather later turns himself into a pickle. Funny shit I've ever seen. <laughs> it is I, incel. I will now make fun of every female Marvel superhero. This reads like a bunch of boomers pretending they're woke as fuck. Two heroes, one named Safe Space and the other Snowflake. The edgy goth, memes, Google and the internet, and the obligatory overweight girl. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Trailblazer is just Dora the Explorer with the backpack. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Almost there. Uh, ex experimental internet gas is the worst thing I've ever heard. <laughs> what the fuck Why does that even so mean? The bank heist and the power Why can't they just make any LGBT character normal superheroes? Obviously, it'll be part of who they are, but there's more to people than that. Calling a nine binary <laughs> character Snowflake sounds like an insult more than anything. It does. Grip on this place first. <laughs> what was that? Boop, 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 boop. See, this is one of my issues with Marvel. Constantly creating more while there are so many heroes that just have had nothing for over a decade. I get wanting to tell new stories, but I mean, come on. There are already so many that don't even just get acknowledged. Just use them. You want people to- you want the people that came up with this to write stories for established characters? Uh, Save Space and Snowflake, my favorite Marvel characters. Drugs, 
protection. That's bad. That's bad. Did it even That's like so actually bad. come out? I don't know. I hope it didn't. <laughs> that was 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 this early? Was that that was earlier this year, right? They announced that was 2020. Oh, it doesn't even. It felt like that was a long time ago when when I first read that. Trash. Ow. It was like early 2020. I'm pretty sure. God, 2020 feels like it was so short yet so long at the same time. Do you feel that too? Sometimes. It's kind of a mix for me. I was telling, I was telling my girlfriend that it feels like I've been together with her for like 40 years, considering how much we bicker together. But like when I really think about it, it feels like we've been to, with each other for like five minutes. Oh, hello. Ow. Ow. Guys, can't do, we can't do this nicely. Don't me, it kind of yes, does. It does. <laughs> we're just. <laughs> we're just making homeless people not able to shower. Fuck you, Spider Man. What does that have to do with you? I leave you alone. Huh? Maybe. On the off brand topic, because I was just. I saw a tweet about. It was talking about Black Clover, which is. So I, I might watch. <laughs> I don't know. But. Uh, Apparently, one of the arcs is a like it's a time skip, and I don't know. Do you think time skips are cop outs? No, I love time skips. Really? The Gurren Lagan time skip is like so cool. Yeah. I feel like Gurren Lagan is just one of the few examples that did it well, though. I mean, like, what what does doing it well mean? Like, what, how does it, how is a time skip a cop out? I just. There's like, is there really nothing more you can write to the story other than just having to age these characters? Hey, I'm just sorry. like, maybe just aging them is just cool though. Uh, yep, nope, I I'm here. You have my undivided attention. Time skips work. As soon as I finish the chapter. Attack on Titan time skip is pretty good. This one's got a pressure meter. Well, it depends on the time, like the length of the time skip too. I mean, the Black Clover time skip is literally. Grapple, grapple, grab. I think it's like five months. I gotta web it. Does that even count as a time skip? Not really. It's not even that long. Gotta web up with a pipe burst. I'm so sad about that. I fucking whipped it up! I wish... Man... I wish Nye and Simone could have been together. <laughs> I mean, they were for a little bit. And fuck you. Am I doing I mean, something wrong? Yes. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, they were, but... Oh, I have to wait for it to get to the green. I'm stupid. All right. Get down. There we go. This is how we do it. it should be fixed. Cool. Need to turn on the water at the pump station. Hey, Can you call the city? What other time skips do you like? I heard One Piece has it, but like call from a high school student pretending to be the entire anime takes like is 800 and something up. Like, is it is it in the thousands yet? No. It's in the 900s, right? Yeah. Need to get rid of these guys. Might, might as well the whole fucking thing be a time skip. Oh. Uh, Tell me who you guys work for. My fault. I felt I don't know. I felt that. I don't think that Dragon Ball's time skip was a cop out, but it just feel it did feel kind of strange. The well, I mean, it's just it depends on what they're skipping. That that skip was just skipping just training, basically, and not even like the good kind of training. I mean, there's multiple time skips. Which time skips are we talking about? The the Cell Saga to Boo Saga time skip felt a little bizarre. Not that I didn't like it. More bizarre than the one that happens at the end of uh, Dragon Ball. These guys. Where Goku grows like, like a whole feet, a whole, a whole foot, two foot. Well, that's maybe. like what you were saying though. It's like the context of the time skip. Well, that one it made sense because it literally like every just like, him plot training. point had like just wrapped wrapped up. So all that was left was just like, hey, train until the next tournament. I mean, you can't just have villains come every like. Villains come back to back to back. It doesn't make sense like that. Cell, cell makes sense. <laughs> I like coming how he's right after saying the that as he's getting the shit kicked out of him. Cell makes sense coming after the 
the Frieza arc. Because, like, uh, Dr. Jiro was just, like, literally waiting for them and, like, plotting this whole thing out. Getting DNA information on them. Um, Get on the ground! But, like, the boo, it's like, Bobbity didn't really... Did, did Bob Bobbity didn't know about anything, like, freeze on Cell Arc. He just, like, wanted to fuck shit up, right? Do you, do you think that the boo, Do you think this, like... I've been seeing more and more of this consensus opinion with that the some Dragon Ball sucks? people that uh, the Boo Saga was just a mistake. I wouldn't say it's a mistake, I just think, like, it kind of goes all over the place. I think it's an anticlimactic ending. It has multiple anticlimactic points, like... I felt where the series- I felt if the series had ended at the Cell Saga, like, because even if, like, I know Tor that's where Toriyama wanted to stop it, but it was just way too popular to have it to be stopped. Um... See, I just felt it was a more natural conclusion. With the Cell Saga, it ends on an, an emotional, like, point for Gohan and stuff. And Goku dying, you know, he finally gets to rest, I guess. But then it just keeps going. Um, the Boo Saga has a lot of points where it feels like it's supposed to end, right? Like, I would have uh, liked the Boo Saga more, I think, if Gohan had just been the main character. If Gohan beat him, it was the one to beat Boo. Yeah, like, it would have just me Gohan, made it more satisfying. Gohan is like doing the thing with like the like the Elder Kai. Right. He gets strong, he goes, doesn't really work out for him. Then, uh, fuck, did, did Gohan go out? Gohan went after Gohan, uh, Gotenks, right? He did fight, he fought Boo. He fought um, Boo, and he was, like, like kind of wrecking wasn't that shit. Gohan, it was literally that, Go, it wasn't that Gohan couldn't beat Boo, it's just that the way the fight went, it was like Boo had, like, a cop-out. Didn't he, like, eat Piccolo or No, not eat, but, like... Wasn't there someone he ate he ate while he was fighting Gohan? I know, but like after that, didn't he eat someone else? He ate Piccolo as well, yeah. Yeah, did he, did he eat Piccolo during his fight with Gohan, or...? I think so, I don't remember. But then I just remember, like, I just remember I thought it was, I, I felt so cheated, because I thought, I thought that, like, when I was watching it, because I obviously didn't know. Um, you thought when I was Gohan watching was it, I thought, win? I thought that was gonna be the ending. Like, yeah, Gohan that's what, comes down to, like, beat the fuck out of Boo, but, like, then, like, the whole, like, Boo just basically, like, eats the thing, and then it's like, Gohan is still putting up a good fight, but, like, Boo just eats Gohan? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm, I'm, like, that's what what I'm getting fuck? to. There's Gohan fighting him, and then, uh, Vegito pulls up, right? And you think yeah. that's gonna be the end. And then no, they, but they just get eaten, and then they de, uh, defuse. Which is, that was like a huge cop-out at that, at that, not, not, like, it was a huge cop-out at that point. They try to explain it super, but it doesn't make, it's such a stupid, like, uh, explanation. Cause the whole thing that made the fusion cool is that, like, with the Patara earrings is that it was permanent. Like, yeah. if you use them, like, you're not, you're not gonna leave. And, like, it was, like, supposed to be kind of, like, Vegeta and Goku sacrifice that they lose no. their, they lose their individuality. individuality for the greater good. Yeah. Um, but then they just, you know, defuse. And that's not the end of the fight. Well, I mean, even, like, let's go before that. Fucking Vegeta's a sacrifice doesn't make, like... Well it's the same as Goku's shit. sacrifice in the cellar. He did the same thing twice. Miles, a helicopter doing but she just sacrificed was sick. And then it's just like, no, he didn't do anything. Those edibles weren't shit. <laughs> there's yeah, like so many just, parts where you think Boo's about to like be defeated, and it's just like, no, he. Just, and it's not even like Boo like outsmarted I'm them. Not, honestly, I'm anything. not even that angry that I'm not even that angry that Vegeta's sacrifice was for nothing. It had happened like, early on. That is how real we're getting. Because, I mean, Goku's sacrifice was... Goku's sacrifice at least was effective. Did it, did it do anything to Cell? It blew Cell up, but the only reason that Cell was able to come back is that he had, like, some of his, like, DNA. some of his, like, uh, matter was still there. Yeah, and he used the Piccolo genes to be able to regenerate his shit. Yeah. But... I still think to this day, like, if it had just ended with Gohan beating Boo, that would have been so much more satisfying. Because it just made more sense. Yeah, it just kind of felt like he didn't, like, Toriyama just wanted to get it over with, didn't really know what to do. 
He's like, just like do the everything. Whole, and the whole, pl the whole, like, we're forgetting another of the thing. Like, the final fight with Boo is such a fucking terrible fight. <laughs> with Kid Boo. It like, just... yeah, it's hype because it's Dragon Ball and shit, but... Mm -hmm. It's just I mean, a spirit Goku, mom. Goku just getting his life back from the Elder Kai. And then fucking, like, that was stupid. And then the entire fight is like... Goku tries to beat Boo in Super Saiyan 3, but can't do shit. And then they have to rely on fucking Mr. Satan to fucking save the- It was bad. <laughs> you oh. <laughs> Miles, please. Don't do it. Yeah, I wasn't a fan of it. I don't think it was horrible. No, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's just... It's just so weird. There's, just too, like there's not, too many plot... There's just too many holes. Like, a lot of things happen, but like... With no... Significance to the plot. Like... Did Boo need to survive... Like, three different times? Three different fights with the Z-Fighters? Or whatever? He didn't need to survive Vegeta's sacrifice. Gohan fighting him. Vegito fighting him. It's just like too much. And all in all, Boo as a villain isn't really we, like. We, we forgot. We forgot the four fights because he had to fight Go Tanks. Yeah, that too. Um, fucking. It just. And also, Boo as a villain himself isn't just very. Isn't very. Uh, he isn't. He's in Cell or Vegeta who have these evil personalities. He just acts very kid like. And then he becomes Kid Boo. That's even more kid like. I and like Cell, but Frieza. Whole, like, Frieza I, I don't really care much for any of like the super stuff, and I probably will never care to watch it or whatever. But just from Dragon Ball Z alone, Frieza is the best villain of the show. Yeah. I like Cell more. It's fine. I like Cell that he had like a bit of Goku's personality where he just wanted to fight. And just say fuck it. Let's just. I'm gonna sit here, make a whole. I just love how. Arena. I just love how genuinely evil Frieza is. Yeah, and racist. Of course. Pure racism. To the point where he's just calling people monkeys. That's got to be racist, right? <laughs> <laughs> the video that, of Frieza, interview. the Frieza voice actor. <laughs> Saying hello monkey to the to the black fan out of context seems so fucked up. You stupid monkey. <laughs> like if you did if you didn't know about Dragon Ball and you see this video there's a white woman saying hello uh, Hello monkey. Did she say hello monkey or dance for me monkey? What was it? I think she said hello monkey. Hello Dude, Frieza, monkey. Frieza's just such a fucking He's like a little, like, gremlin. He's just, like, <laughs> such an asshole. Like, there's a part in, like, Super, in the Tournament of Power, where, like, Goku's just remembering everyone, everyone, like... It's in his head, and it's like, everyone's saying, like, You got this, Goku. You can do it. And it just... Frieza going, like, Help dance for me, monkey. It's like, bro? You know, um... Lo, uh, Lo Karibo, who, uh, does the voice of Frieza in, uh... Uh, the Abridge series. Mm -hmm. He he's the, he did a few of the voices, but man, he was really fucking good at Frieza. <laughs> Frieza's a fun voice to do. Something is seriously wrong with that helicopter. What the fuck just, is <laughs> the helicopter's just like <laughs> flying upside down? <laughs> Something <laughs> odd about the helicopter. You need to land. I can't. Someone strap the controls. Who was it? I did. <laughs> what is going on? It seems is he just fucks. murdering people? What are y'all doing? What are you? <laughs> Miles. <Mom's. laughs> I'm shutting this down. I gotta do this six times. Wait, how do? What? Why hasn't Finn like told people like, hey, don't beat up my friend, my kind of sort of maybe boyfriend? <laughs> Um, uh, it's, I mean, <laughs> this is like 30 minutes after, 20 minutes after. If we go with video and game time. And. <laughs> and. 
Protect Ow. the pussy at all costs. Protect <laughs> the dick at all costs. He's supposed to dick me down. Don't fight him. That's what I'm saying. What are we doing right now? <laughs> I've, um, been, I've been like, I've been focusing on what I've been talking about, so I've just not been paying attention to the game. This is not a main mission. This is just like a crime that's happening. And they're hacking the helicopter. The suit does look cool in, in the dark. Yeah. I think the, I think the like, coolest thing to me is, um... Underground down, huh. the next. Timer. I think oh. the coolest thing to me is, um... From, you've seen Mask of the Phantasm, right? Yeah. When Bruce first puts on the mask and like the white eyes ha happen and the white eyes come on in front, that was so cool. How does he do the white mask? That was such a good fucking movie. We need more animated movies like that. Y'all just need to give Japan the rights to make the animated movies. Gotta take out the they didn't have the Batman anime though. Anime movie. Did you watch that? Well, the, the which one? The CGI one. Oh, Batman Ninja. Yeah. No, I didn't. I wanted to watch it. I don't know why. I don't really it. like a lot of the current DC animated stuff. I know, but I thought also, it'd be different because it's Japan. Also, I don't like the voice actor they have for Batman. That's why I watched the sub. <laughs> they should. Batman should always. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, true Batman though. Should, Batman should always be Kevin Conroy. <laughs> Kevin Conroy is in the sub, but not the dub <laughs> version. That'd be cool. If they get Kevin Conroy to speak Japanese. How does he do that? What does he want? I can't do a good Con Kevin Conroy voice. All right, now for the transfer. Kevin Conroy voice is amazing. I feel I if I feel if I were to ever like voice act anything Batman related, I feel like the only character that I could voice act well would probably be Nightwing. Yeah, Nightwing like is kind of just like Look, I, I take just a I regular teenager, not teenager. He's not a teenager anymore, but like a young. You should go. Just superhero I type deep voice. Vo I don't think I have like the resonance in my voice to be able to do Batman. Well, that's why you <laughs> That's why you just gotta just make your voice really fucking gruff. Is that the right word? <laughs> Friends, small business. I hate that. If there's one thing I can criticize about the Nolan trilogy, I just don't like the Batman voice. It's it's grown on me. He definitely. The worst um, part is that. Is when Christian he kept definitely using did it. emphasize it a lot more yeah. during the during the latter half of the movies. <laughs> well, like it sounded kind of fine in the first one. I just but like in the wish Dark Knight, he's like, <gasps> and he's like breathing really hard too. Where's the lady? Where's the Popeyes? <laughs> Well, I need my fried chicken. <laughs> Where, where's Joker? Although I don't know if I could do Spider-Man. Drake Bell did a pretty good Spider-Man, weirdly enough. He did. It, that was the such voice a weird fit. like choice. Yeah, but it fit, right? Yeah. Like it was so bizarre. I think we can all use Jesus. It's like now it's become so commonplace, but it was like when people had heard back then that Mark Hamill was gonna be voicing the Joker. The dude from Star Wars? Yeah, he like don't the dude sound from like Star no Wars. And he was like, he did. I, I mean, he, that's the Joker. I don't know why I'm doing that voice for someone finding out when, <laughs> when Mark Hamill becomes the Joker. Um, it's kind of weird that Christian Bale used like Batman at the end of the Dark Knight Rises. Still uses the voice when he basically told Commissioner Gordon who he is. Like, you don't need to use the voice no more, man. <laughs> You're good. Did you like how that movie ended on that note? I mean, with, what um, other note could have happened? Just him dying? No, 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 not, not that. I'm saying with, uh, with Robin. That was just the super weird thing to me. Why don't you use your real name? The, what was his- what was his name in the movie? <sighs> I don't- Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Joseph Gordon-Levitt. What was his name in the movie? I don't- I don't, I don't know what name he used. 
I just remember him as Robin because that was like the big like reveal thing. <laughs> yeah. But he doesn't become Robin. He's like supposed to become the next Batman. <laughs> But does he even- is he even gonna be- well, what does that happen? Like, does, he, does Batman give him the suit? That was the implication, right? Because he was told to find the cave. Yeah, I, I guess. And then, like, the girl's like, you should use your new name. I mean, you should use your na real name, oh, Robin, it's cool. And he's like, okay. I, I was gonna use that as my superhero name, but I guess fuck you. Alright. <laughs> so, very yeah. strange. Robin, very strange, Very strange deals. It's right, a, whatever. Uh, yeah. 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 Harry, can you yeah. crash one more time for me? <laughs> that was the worst one. <laughs> <laughs>